Good morning guys and welcome to Beard Manners. Today we're going to be watching me drink coffee while I talk about the main differences between oils, balms and butters and when and how to use them on your beard. So we're going to start with the basics of this and it's something that I talk about quite regularly so a lot of you are not going to be interested in this one so much but we'll start with the oil because it is the best selling product. So there's no secret here, I've always advertised that I feel that oil is best used for the skin over the beard. As I've said in my previous videos, it's because it's a thinner product, it has a pipette, it's easier to get into your skin. The balm and butter is never going to get there through a thick beard. They're thicker products themselves, it's going to be incredibly difficult to get it into your skin. If you were to do the process that I suggest, if you were to challenge yourself to try this, take the pipette off, I'll show you briefly, I've already got my products in, but you don't need much. And then all you need is four to five drops on each side of your face. Some around your chin, just a little dab. Don't I, I don't tend to squirt the pipette on my top lip. I tend to just rub the pipette in there because otherwise you risk getting it into your mouth. I really haven't used much. I've got a big, thick beard. This process is going to save you a fortune in money because you won't be getting through your oil as quick and it's going to do the job. While I'm talking to you, I can hear it. I can feel it running down my face. I can literally feel that oil running beneath my beard down my face. This is when you then use the fingertips, spread it all around, massage it in, and you are obviously going to get some in your beard but nowhere near as much as the failed process of putting the oil into your palm, spreading it around, and then doing this. I've seen lots of videos from some incredibly big brands that say to you doing it that way, it's gonna work into your skin. No, it isn't, guys. When you, last time you walked outside and you got rained on with a beard, when did you last remember the feeling the rain on your face? Do you ever feel the rain in the skin of your beard? If water can't get through your beard, what chance does oil, butter, or balm have? There is too much bad advice, too many bad opinions, and you can Google this stuff yourself as well. Oil is best used for the skin. As always, I want to advertise oil is good for the beard. If you are to put it in the palm of your hand and put it in your beard, it's good for your beard. But what it's not doing is getting to the skin where it can cause other irritations and you might not get the, the full potential of the beard that you can have because you're not giving yourself the ultimate care. The other negativity to oil in the beard is something that I talk about quite a lot and that is every time you touch your beard and you touch your cup of coffee or you touch your watch or you touch your phone or you hold your kids hands or drive your, drive your car, everything you touch gets covered with oil because the oil doesn't tend to soak in particularly well or fast into beards. So again, oil is good for the beard, but it's best used as a skincare product. It doesn't offer hold, it offers conditioning for the skin and for the beard, but again, there are better options for giving your beard conditioning and getting your beard full, and again, getting the full potential out of your beard. From there, we'll come on to the balm. Now, I'm not gonna put all these products into my beard, because otherwise my beard's gonna feel incredibly heavy and overbared with products. So, what is the main purpose with balm? I'm going to concentrate on my own balms because I can't tell you what everyone has in their ingredients and there's different legalities of ingredients and usage between ourselves and America and, uh, you know, and parts of Europe now because we're no longer in the, U in the EU here in the UK. So, for example, my balm is made up of the same six base oils that the oils are, so you're still getting that real good goodness in there. It's then made up to be a thicker product with the use of shea butter and a large amount of beeswax. I would class our balm as a medium to strong hold. It doesn't affect the appearance of your beard. I've got balm in this morning, and you can see my beard doesn't look greasy or slick or hard. It still wobbles when I move. But what it does is it gives it enough hold to hold those straggles into place. It will keep it like this for the majority of the day for the average person. I'm in the shop constantly showing people how long my cheek is and, and I'm pulling my beard around to show them things. So it might not last quite so long with me, but that is the main purpose of the beard balm. Now again, as in reverse with the oils, the products that are in here are good for your beard. They're also good for the skin. There's no chance on hell of really getting these into your skin. Yes, of course, you can melt them down into your hand, get it on your fingertips a little bit and get it in there. But that's not the best use for it. My advice, as I've said from the start, get the oil into the skin first. It starts to soak in incredibly quick. It now that my skin doesn't feel wet. When I said to you literally six minutes ago, five minutes ago, that I could feel it running down my cheek, I now can't. It's doing its job. It's soaking in super quick soaking into my pores like oil should. So that is the main purpose of the balm. And this is typically a morning routine for me. I will usually put oil on in the morning, followed by balm to give my beard a bit of hold throughout the day. Um, if I'm not going out and I'm not, my beard isn't on show anywhere, I'm not coming to work, I will sometimes replace the balm with the butter. But as a rule, I, I like to use balms reasonably regularly because it also helps to sort of 
encourage your beard to go a certain direction because you're holding it into place. So that is the main purpose and use for beard balm. From there, we'll come on to the beard butter. I'm showing you all of these in um, a scent that I'm wearing this morning, the Manor's Bar. I've never hit, that's one of my favorite scents. It's one for the manly guys out there. Doesn't matter if you're not manly, there's nothing wrong with being manly or not being manly. I'm a cigar smoker, I'm a whiskey lover, I like leather, and those are all the scents in this ingredient, the ingredients and scents in this product. Very me, literally smells like my office. Um, it's not for everyone, it's my mate. If you're gonna try this scent, guys, I recommend that you purchase something you know you'll like. By now, most of you know that we give a free five mil sample with every order. Use this as your free sample to see what you think from there. Um, because it is a bit marmite, but I love it. It's my favourite scent. It's not my most worn, but it's my favourite. So again, so now we've got the butter. What I'm going to do as well is I'll show you briefly the balm here as well first. You can see you can see the balms there. It's very thick, very level. Um, you know, I'm not going to tear into this. This is one of our product ones, but you know that's what the balm looks like. Butter, on the other hand, is a fast mover. It's a fast mover product, which is easier to apply. It's more melted down. Same thing, it needs to be worked into your hand as well. But the main purposes of the butter is to act as a leave-in conditioner product for your beard. Now, again, it's again with the ingredients, it's going to be good for the beard, it's going to be good for the skin, but it's not going to get to the skin as easy as the oil. We've gone over this a couple of times now, so you know we, we know where we are with that. Now, what's the difference between the butter and the balm? Again, a lot of this comes down to where you buy from. Um, you know, I can't speak for other companies again. But our butters don't have any beeswax in whatsoever. So there's nothing that makes these set like the balm does. Does that mean that a butter is not going to offer you any hold at all? Depending on your beard, it should offer you a little bit. Um, I find with mine, sorry guys, my tash is literally working its way into my mouth. Um, I will find with mine that it does give it a little bit of hold on the sides, just nowhere near the longevity that you'd get from the balm. It isn't, I don't sell this as a holding or styling product. With the ingredients I've got. Those ingredients are again the same six base oils that we use in our oils and with that all of our oils because there's far different qualities that all we've gone with a mix of two medium, two thick and two thin so that they all blend together per really really well. It helps them to mix together perfectly. There's never any streaks in our mix. You can't see the difference in colours. It mixes really really well. We mix it all together before we add the scents. We then when we do the scents, we mix the scents together first so that it makes a uniform scent and then add it into the ready mixed and, and ready oil. Um, so that's, that's, that's our oils and there's an even mix of every ingredient. So all six ingredients, we don't put more of almond in than we do Jehovah or more Jehovah than we do argan. We do a perfectly even mix of everything because what we want is for them to gel together so well. So we've got those six base oils again in the butter. We don't have beeswax in there. It is then made up with three different butters. The reason we use the three different butters is the same thing as the oils. You've got some slightly different consistencies, which is to help it set and to help it mix and to how it melts down and gets into the beard. And of course, they all offer you different things. Now, when to use the butter? Now, you heard me say at the start of this with the butter that I personally use it as a leave-in conditioner product. The majority of butter users will use it as an evening, an evening product. I will personally put my oil in again in the evening. So once I've got home from work, I've had my shower. I don't wash my beard every day. We've been over, this is something I've been over in my other videos. I wash my beard with wash once or twice a week at best. Um, if it gets a bit grubby on a non-wash day, I use a bit of warm water because not only are you risking washing out all of the natural goodness if you overwash your beard from your beard and your skin, this is, but you're also going to wash out all of the products that you spent so much money on and put so much effort in to make your beard look good. So again, so in the evening, I'll wait till I've had my shower, I've had my dinner, I've settled down for the night, I'll apply a little bit of oil first to let it get in there. About an hour or so after that, I will then apply my butter to let that get into the beard of an evening, work its way overnight, and then when you wake up in the morning, you've just got a fantastically soft and thick, fulling beard. The dryness is not there at all. At least it shouldn't be there with a good product and a good routine. So, and, and also with this, you heard me say with the balms as well, sometimes if I don't need a balm, if I'm staying at home having a movie day with the kids, if I'm just having a gym day, if I'm just, if, I, if the only thing I'm going to do that day is go to the local shop, then what I might do is sacrifice the balm for the butter. Now, the reason for that is, is as much as I've said, all of these products have the right ingredients to do well for a beard and to help a beard. I personally believe, again, on my own products, because I know what's in them, that the overall best product 
for the overall care of your beard, not the skin, your beard, is butter. I think the way that it soaks in, it's a poured butter, it's not whipped. I'm not a fan of whipped butters, I've never hit that. My reasons for that, I'm not trying to dig out people that do it, by the way, I'm not trying to start wars, but again, it's my personal opinions. If I was to put a base mix of 10 of these into a bowl to make 10, and I went through the process of whipping them, I'd be able to get 15 to 20 instead of 10. That's why I don't like poured butters quite so much. There is also a pro to them though, is that poured butters, sorry, that was whipped butters, I mean I don't like as much. With poured butters, um, they can leave a slightly heavier feel into the beard because they're a heavier product than the whipped. That's why a lot of people whip. A lot, a lot of people whip things not because they're trying to take advantage or spread it out, because it's a lighter product, it will soak in even quicker to the beard, maybe won't perhaps give it quite as much goodness, but you know, it's, not, it's gonna leave a lighter feeling. I've got a big beard, so my beard feels heavy anyway. I like poured butters, and that's why I use them. But again, so coming back to why I like the butters, it's because I believe that the way they soak in, the length of time they soak in, I just feel that they're overall the best product for the beard itself. Now comes to the age-old question. I'm gonna finish with this. The age-old question of, well, what do I use? Do I use oils, balms, or butters? The honest answer is, guys, it all depends on what you want from your beard. And in my honest opinion, there is room for all three. That doesn't mean you have to use all three. I personally use all three. Like I've said, oil is for the skin. I'm always gonna do that. I don't want to risk my, I have a lot of people say, yeah, but my skin feels good. But what you don't want to do is let it feel bad. Because your, bad can, your beard can start off by getting dry and itchy and flaky. That can be through overwashing. That's generally a rule of your skin having dryness issues, lack of oils. You could, like I say, you could be overwashing. You could maybe not be using enough oil. Um, once that process comes in, it's slightly more difficult to get rid of. It's, it's not difficult to get rid of, but it's gonna take time. It's not a case of you put oil on once and it's gone. So I like to stay consistent with it. I don't want to put oil in my car when my car has run out of oil and is running sloggy. What I want to do is regularly check my car's oil and keep it on a nice level so that the car runs well. It's the same with my beard process. Balms, again, there's definitely a use for balms depending on your style of beard because if you've got a beard that's like mine and is wild and free and I think the beard controls me opposed to the other way around, then you're gonna need the balms for that styling and the hold. If you've got a shorter beard, I had a gentleman come in the shop yesterday who had a reasonably long beard and it was very thick, and he asked me what he felt I would recommend for him. But I asked him if he used products and he said he hadn't really used anything other than oil. His beard looks so well groomed because of the way it's trimmed and cut and he keeps on top of it, but it still looked full. I was completely honest and said, I don't think you need a balm because your beard looks like that, it looks well groomed. My advice would be is to stick with the oil to keep on top of the skin and use a butter to keep the beard feeling nice and healthy and full because it's being nourished and looked after. So this is where it comes down to again, it's personal choice and all about your beard. Um, I'm gonna do this, I just shouldn't do this because I get asked this all the time. If I could use only one product, what would I use? If I could use only one, I was stuck on a desert island and I could have a life supply of one and nothing else, I've got to be honest and say that the winner would be the butter because it's what it does for the beard and you know it's, it, it just makes it feel so much better. But we live in a world where we don't have to pick. I've got healthy skin, I've got a healthy beard, I've got a beard that misbehaves. Thanks to this, I can keep it in order a little bit. Thanks to this, my skin is good. And thanks to this, my beard is good. I hope that has been of use, guys. I've noticed that we're getting a lot more comments on our videos now, which is great. Thank you for that. Please feel free to subscribe and to like and leave comments because it all helps us to know that the content is working. Um, again, I'm not monetized. I'm absolutely miles away from that. I'm not trying to push for that. If I was going to do that, I'd do videos on other things. You know, you know, this is more to help our customers and followers and people that recognize us. So in the comments, feel free to leave anything that you would like to hear about. Some people have started doing that already, but this is what I like to do, guys. I don't try to just think of ideas of videos. I tend to wait to see what presents itself to me, what people are asking about, and we'll do the video based on that. Other than that, guys, it's been great talking to you, but I've got to start opening up for work, and I want to enjoy my coffee. Have a great Sunday. Let's get ready for Christmas. Stay bearded, stay safe, and look after you and your, you and your loved ones.